Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can learn programming for free using your smartphone or even your computer if you want. But if you're on the go, if you're busy, if you're working, if you're commuting, if you're wanting to learn code, you're wanting to learn different types of programming like C++, Python, HTML, and different programming languages like that. It is one of the best skills that you can have, especially now and in the future because of the rise of artificial intelligence, what all you can do with a computer and things like that. This is one of the best skills you can have. So learning programming has been a big emphasis for me lately. I'm always looking for new skills to learn, and I felt like this is one of the most important ones I could. And I found a great way to do this for free on your phone in a very well put together format. So what you get, what you need to do is go to the App Store for Apple phones, go to the Google Play Store for Android phones, or go to the Microsoft App Store if you have a Microsoft phone, and get the Solo Learn app. Now. Solo Learn for Android is all one app. You can just learn to code here. Now they do also have separate ones that you can get. Um, currently I use the Solo Learn Learn to Code app. You can see it almost has a full five star rating. It's a great app. People love it. And also for iTunes, I think you have to get it as the individual one depending on the language you want to learn okay but they cover all the main programming languages and from the Microsoft Store same thing you can get it based on the language you want to learn whether it's HTML, C++, Java, etc. So these will allow you to learn different types of code by going through lessons, going through examples, going through quizzes, going through um, exercises where you put different programs together yourself. You can ask questions. You can do all these different things. So I'm going to switch over to a smartphone and show you on the Android version what it looks like to actually use this app what the app looks like and how you actually go about learning coding and programming in a very easy free format so I'm gonna head over there and kind of show you how the app works okay so I'm on the home page of the app of solo learn on Android and this is kinda of what it looks like it shows your profile it shows an activity feed you can go up and down and see what the solo learn team has added like uh, funny codes like how many Friday the 13th are in a year. Um, sometimes they'll do something related to uh, an event or a holiday or all just kind of fun little pieces of code in there on the home page. You can check your rank. Um, you can go over to little challenges and games people create using programming. And you can also look at kind of a commenting area or a forum area where you can ask questions and have discussions and help each other um, understand programming a little better and of course the main reason you're doing this is to learn now you can also start your own challenges that's where you go to do that the little lightning bolt part but far left is where you actually learn and that has all the different top languages for programming HTML, CSS, C++, Java, Python, Ruby, etc. All the main ones that are current and of course this app is always being um, improved, always being updated for the latest and best programming languages. So you'll always find the top ones in there and it shows you your progress in each one as well. So once you click on one language it will show you like an overview, basics, challenges, um, more in-depth and complex concepts, and then you can actually earn a certificate once you complete them, kind of showing that you're certified as 
someone who is um, to the point where they understand that language. And if you click on one of those modules, for instance, the beginning one, it'll show you like what is HTML or what is CSS or whatever the language is you're on. It'll explain it, what it's for in uh, a brief page. It'll show you an example of what it looks like when you actually use it. So for instance, a paragraph in HTML, that's what it looks like. You can also see comments from people that are also going through the course and see what they're saying, questions they ask, and you can reply as well. So it kind of has a lot of interaction. Once you think you know the content on a page, you go to the question area. So it's constantly questions and content. If you get the question right, it'll say correct, and then you can go to the next section. If you get it wrong, you can't go to the next section. Um, and then you go back. So you're on to the next content area. It teaches you small lessons at a time so it doesn't overwhelm you. Then you go to a question and it'll be fill in the blank or arrangement questions like this one where if you get it wrong it'll show you with a little red X and then it takes you back to the page where it teaches you the answer to the question. So it's very easy, very straightforward, divided up into very small lessons so you can just learn a little bit at a time and not get um, overwhelmed by it. You have examples, you have places where you can actually try it yourself and create your own code, different types of quizzes where it's just questions that help you understand whether you know the information yet or not and comprehend it well. Also, you know, they have fill in the blank questions like this one where you have different choices. So it gives you a lot of different types of questions, a lot of different um, parts of the language, and it divides them up. So for instance, you're starting to actually do some HTML now in this area, and it shows you paragraphs, it shows you lists, shows you tables, elements, etc. So then you can do challenges, um, and it shows you kind of, okay, create this, or what would this be? And then once you've done all the modules, you can get a certificate that says you completed it. So they also have, you know, other languages, of course. I've mostly done HTML so far, but they have CSS, which is like the styling of websites. Of course, you cannot do, you can't hardly do some of the other things until you've gone through the parts that are the basics. They have options where you can skip ahead. I haven't actually tried those yet, but if you're already experienced at some of these, you might try that. Um, the, more the more complex languages like Python, for instance, will have more modules because it's more complicated and there's more functions to it. So it's a very great way to learn and I find it to be pretty enjoyable. So it also shows you your badges, which is kind of like achievements that you've gotten skills you've learned from going through the courses you have notifications basically telling you oh you leveled up or somebody responded to your comment or something like that and then they also have a leaderboard you can invite friends you have quizzes you can have settings to change and things like that so it's kind of a really just very well put together way to learn programming languages of all sorts which is one of the top skills, of course, that I think you can have in the future. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you feel like this video was helpful in a way to you. And like I said earlier, just go to whatever app store it is that you use for whatever phone type you have, whether it's made by Microsoft or Apple or some type of Android device um, and get this app it's completely free it'll teach you all these programming languages or you can get the individual programming language apps if you want to focus on a specific one like Python only or something like that and you can actually learn as I showed you through your phone how to program and create all kinds of different things using code um, also, if you want to do this on the computer, you can also check it out here at sololearn.com and 
as you can see, they have over 15 million learners, 940 lessons, 7,500 plus quizzes, and they're trying to make it as easy as possible to help you learn programming. And because this is such an important skill to have now and for the future, I just wanted to do an entire video dedicated to helping you find this resource that's extremely useful and very well put together and um, take advantage of it. So there's nothing that should be holding you back from getting this. No matter what kind of smartphone you have, they have an app for you. If you have a computer, you, they have it to where you can learn there as well. And it's completely free. You don't have to worry about how much it costs. And you can learn at your own pace. It's divided up into small lessons. I mean, I don't know how else you could build a better programming course resource like this. So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned something, if you feel like you uh, got something of value from this video, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. And if there are some other maybe courses or apps like this that really help with learning programming, or you want to just let me know what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always looking for feedback to improve these videos for you. And I will have all the links to these pages, all the video notes and related content to this video on one page for you at selfmadesuccess.com. You can go there for that, or you can look for the link to that page in the video description. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.